On October 14, 2016, during the World Food Day celebration, Viola Graves was one of the lucky farmers who received an award for organic farming. Less than one year later, last Thursday, March 23rd, the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture teamed up with Agricultural Officer Shemika Grant and visited Graves' farm, where a routine farm visit was conducted. Due to the weather condition presently, we have um, average rainfall and uh, right now we have a lot of butterflies. So we're ensuring there's limited diamondback moth, which would damage all her leaves. They are at folding stage. So we're trying to minimize that as possible. The diamondback moth, it's a little butterfly. Once it stings the leaves, it causes the whole, it causes distortion of the cabbages. So we're here, we're gonna observe, we're gonna scout the field, we're going to check once we find, if it's limited, then we will just remove. If there is an infestation, we would advise spraying. Chemical treatment for diamondback moth. Right now we have um, Phoenix. We would use an application rate of one to two teaspoon per gallon. Um, we can also incorporate some boosters, um, which would boost the plant. During the visit, Graves expressed that farming is hard work. I do it as a pleasure. Sometimes when I go to the market and you see the, the, the price you have to pay for the goods, um, I tell myself I wouldn't be able to make it, so I get into farming. So Graves oftentimes farm on her own. She expressed that she has a number of persons that work with her periodically one which is her husband. I have a guy walking with me and he helped me to um, get the post for the chalice, but I myself put up the chalice. And my husband, he in, and um, I have a walker, he build the beds. My husband helped me with a little weeding and I have two girls normally walk with me to do the weeding. Though Graves is a resident of Korea, she farms on approximately one and a half acres of land in Ivisham, where she cultivates cucumbers, cabbages and carrots. Graves, who has been farming for five years, says she is a strong believer of organic farming. Last year I received an award at the World Food Day celebration for organic farming because I'm a strong believer of organic farming. Um, if you notice these cabbage, they have no artificial manure. It's just foul dung and rotten leaves, organic. That is my main thing. And now I have more lands down to the bottom, down there, and I want to do some more of that farming down to the bottom. The vegetable farmer stated that marketing is the major problem she faces. This cabbage now, you see they in folding stage and I have to leave tomorrow and the cucumber in bearing stage. And by next week, I'll be having about 50 pounds of cucumbers to pick at least. So I have to go into town tomorrow and try to check out the um, supermarkets and various vendors and stuff like that to get market. But again, they give you what they like. Sometimes um, they tell you that the price gone down a lot on the market. And after spending so much money and time, you could hardly get back the money that you spent. So that is the disadvantage of farming. We need markets. According to Graves, she ensures she practices record keeping. When I walk the land, to walk the money that I spend for the land, I put down that amount of money. I keep records of what I do and what I 
do not. The Confident Graves says that there are a number of benefits that she derives from farming. It helped me to pay my bills and um, it keep me occupied most of the time because right now I would have been home just sitting down and just lingering around but now I'm in my garden and I feel comfortable over here. So it's a hobby for me so I feel good.